Welcome to Comics on the Pyre, where everyone can come and indulge in all things comic related, whether it be movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, or just comics themselves. If you love comic books, then show it by hitting that subscribe button to help this precious media that we all love thrive and flourish. <laughs> When you pick up a comic and start reading the adventures of your favorite heroes or heroines, you immediately get swept away by their actions, their intelligence, and maybe even their, um, physique. With that perfect hair and superb athleticism, it's easy to forget that some of the characters that you are reading about are a lot older than you think. In some cases, the word ancient would not be a misnomer. For that reason, I am excluding from this list gods, demons, and other celestial beings, or any of that sort, since we know by the simple definition of the word that these people are definitively old. I am also excluding masked, disfigured, or otherwise disambiguous faces, because when you look at these characters, you can honestly say judging by their appearance, you have no idea just how old they are. No, for this list, I'm going with characters that have a normal facade that totally gives you no idea just on how old they really are. So let's begin with number one. Nowadays, you pick up a comic and you read the adventures of Captain America, AKA Steve Rogers, and he is portrayed as a 30 something or even 40 ish year old man with a buff physique, solid abs, perfect teeth and a chiseled chin. You as the reader, just by looking at him, would never know how old he really is. That is, unless you are familiar with his backstory. This modern day super soldier was alive around the time when World War I was just getting started. That's right, Steve Rogers, the Captain America that we all know and love today, was born on July 4th, 1917 making him eligible nowadays for a Denny Senior Citizen discount breakfast. He's not a bad looking old man, all things considered. What a wonder being frozen in a block of ice for a few decades will do for you. Number two. Way before this feral mutant joined the X-Men, hell, before he had that unbreakable adamantium metal grafted to his body, he was a small Canadian kid that seemed to be always ill and a loner, more comfortable around canines than humans. James Howlett, who would later in life be known to the world at large as Wolverine, was born somewhere in the year 1882. His physical features denotes a man in his late mm, 30s or even 40s. But this mutant's healing factor not only heals him from any wounds that it is inflicted upon him, but slows down his body's aging process as well, allowing him to move like a man in his prime, despite obviously being over a hundred years old. If only we could all be so lucky. Number three, Reis Al Ghul. When translated to English means something along the lines of the demon's head. Now, if you were to pass this man on the streets, he looks quite distinguished, healthy, wealthy, and seemingly somewhere around the age of let's say 50 or even 60. No denying the gray streaks in his hair, even though he looks fit and robust. But you, my friend, would be wrong, dead wrong. For this mortal's age reaches back, well back to what seems to be the age of Christ, or maybe even back further. No one knows exactly. And if you viewer can point out a comic book issue with either a date on it or a time appearance referencing the exact date of his birth, please leave a comment below as I would love to read it. The earliest reference of time I found was in The Birth of the Demon, where they show a panel of race himself being born. But there is no exact time mentioned in this issue. You only get crude references in his surroundings. Thanks to the Lazarus Pit, it is safe to say that this foe of the Dark Knight is way past his golden years though. And now 
for our last two candidates who go back in time so far that the years cannot be accurately guessed or measured. We just have to round out the zeros in their timeline. Number four, Celine Gallio, better known by her other moniker, the Black Queen, was once a lead member of the mutant group known as the Hellfire Club. This sexy, attractive woman is not to be trifled with, and believe me, her looks do not denote her age at all. For it is claimed that she is over 17,000 years old and born somewhere in Central Europe. Footnote states that she was alive during the epoch of the Hyborian Age. That's right, Conan fans. After the oceans swallowed Atlantis and before the rise of Arius is when this woman walked the earth. Her long life can be attributed to her mutant, psychic, vampiric ability to sustain herself by psionically draining the life worth of other human beings into herself. This ability allows her to appear useful and full of vitality, depending on upon how many life forces she absorbs on a regular basis. Side note, viewer, if you get a chance, Please read Uncanny X-Men number 183, where Celine attempts to seduce Kane Marco. That's right, the unstoppable force known as the Juggernaut. Who knows just how long his life force would have been able to sustain her. But her seduction never comes to fruition, as she is rudely interrupted by Logan, and an epic battle is initiated between old Jughead and Colossus, an event truly not to be missed. And for our last character, number five, Vanguard Edge, otherwise known by the name most will recognize him by, Vandal Savage. This villain has been walking the earth since the dawn of man. This crow magnum was a caveman named Vandar Edge that led the blood tribe approximately 50 thousand years ago, well into the Paleolithic Age. If you were to look at this virile veneer, it would denote a man in his 40s or even 50s, but never would you guess that this was a man from the prehistoric times. His seeming immortality can be attributed to the same cause that wiped the dinosaurs out of existence. A mysterious meteorite fell from the sky and bathed him in an unknown radiation, granting him enchanted speed, strength, and agility, while also increasing his intelligence beyond the capabilities of the average human, and also gifting him with immortality. Throughout the ages, he has claimed to have ruled hundreds of civilizations under hundreds of different names. He has claimed to wear the crowns of kings, carry the scepters of rulers, brandish the swords of conquerors, and even play the parts of infamous murderers. By his will, kingdoms have risen and fallen, all by the whim of his fancy. Well, there you go, comic enthusiasts. Five comic book characters that are way older than their appearance will allow you to believe they are. Please visit my YouTube channel, Comics on a Pyre, for other videos like this one. Tap that bell icon before you go, and oh yes, until next time, as always, keep reading, my friends.